Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. My wife is cheating. Help me. I've been married to my wife, male 23, for a little over five years. My wife and I have a four-year-old kid. I've had my suspicions for a week or two that my wife was chatting to someone and slash or cheating on me. When I arrived home last night and she was sleeping, I examined her phone and verified my concerns. She's been texting a coworker, and the messages over the last two days, prior texts were deleted, have varied from both of them expressing I love you to making preparations for him to come to my home today while I'm at work. While they did not explicitly state that they would have, it was strongly inferred. There is indication that previous activities have already occurred. I'm now seated at a waffle house after phoning in to say I'm not coming in. If he does come over, I'm going to attempt to gather evidence of the visit by observing when my alarm is armed slash disarmed through the app on my phone. According to my study, if the marriage ends in divorce and I can show she committed adultery, she will be ineligible for alimony in my state. I could prevent them from having by coming home and addressing her before it occurs. But this may cost me a lot in the long run if our marriage fails. I adore her and don't want our relationship to end but I don't see how I can forgive her for this. Even if I faced her today, I'd always feel the same way as if she had with him. This is really painful. I adore her more than anything else, and I have a hold in my chest and lead in my stomach. I'm physically hungry, but I can't force myself to eat since I'm sick. I can't stop trembling, I can't think clearly, and I feel like a piece of me has been torn out. I'm frightened of what this will entail for my life, and more importantly for my daughter's life. I'm at a loss on what to do. Update 1. First and foremost, thank you for the silver. It's unfortunate that my first Reddit award had to be for this, but thank you anyways. Thank you so much for all of your advice, recommendations, and help. While I am still physically unwell, I am able to think more clearly as a result of everyone's help. I'll keep you all informed as things go. Update 2. I simply wanted to say thank you once again. I haven't left this post since I started it, and I haven't stopped reading it. Right now, this is the only thing keeping me sane. If you're new here, don't believe that since there are 250 plus comments, your opinion slash advice isn't valuable. I read every single remark with an open mind, and I am incorporating all of them into what I do. It also helps. A lot. I haven't confronted them yet since the man hasn't come up, and I doubt he will today. Maybe she realized I was aware. I tried to seem as if nothing was wrong when I left this morning, but it stung like hell. I'm not sure whether she purchased it. They had arranged for him to come over Thursday early in their messages. It is currently 12.40 p.m. I'm going to speak to her about it tonight if he doesn't come up. Update 3. Every single one of you is fantastic. You're actually assisting me in getting through this. The person never came up, so here's my current plan. I'm going to pretend as if nothing is wrong for the time being. After speaking with you all in my family, I believe I can put on a brave front and pretend that nothing is wrong. I'm going to visit a lawyer in the morning, and I spoke with a private investigator who I'm thinking about employing. I know from the messages that she intended to have him come over during the hunting trip I'm planning for next weekend, so I'll make sure I go and that the PI is aware. I believe I've made my decision. I'm not going to attempt to repair it. I'm going to cover mine and flee. It's not merely an affair because she's having. She tells him she loves him, but she no longer seems to love me. She seemed to be attempting to take advantage of me. She wanted a new vehicle and for me to pay for her schooling, but she also wanted to be with him. She is now on her way to, supposedly, pick up my kid from daycare. I'm keeping track of the time. I'm aware of how long it should take. If she takes her time, I'll be able to figure out where she went. In any case, I'm going to attempt to go through Christmas and my daughter's birthday next Friday without mentioning it. Hopefully, the PI will be able to locate proof. Please wish me luck. Update 4. Be ready. This is a major one. So I went home and pretended to be normal. Everything seemed to be normal. We laughed a little. And if that doesn't help when you're devastated. And then we ate supper. Sitting on the sofa after dinner, she begs me to stop the TV and when I'm going to ring up it. I inquired as to what it was. And she said that she was aware that I had seen the messages. Begin the dialogue. She tells me he didn't come over, which I already knew. And that she informed him she doesn't want to speak to him anymore. She had his phone number banned. Obviously, now that she has done this, the original strategy is no longer viable. I still have feelings for her, 
My heart is crushed and I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to forgive or trust her. I'm not sure if I can be in a relationship with her. She wants to do something with us. I'm not sure whether I want to or not. She claims she was conversing with him because she did not feel desired. She didn't sense a strong emotional connection with us, despite the fact that he knew all the proper things to say. She claims she told him she couldn't be with him and that she was done with him, but now she's inviting him to our home. She said that her feelings for him were unavoidable. He was batting at my register one day, and I unintentionally grabbed his palm, and it felt like lightning, the precise tale went. I know you're probably thinking, this is all nonsense as you read it. Yes, I do. How am I expected to believe her? I don't understand her point of view. Should I give her a second chance? Should I attempt to fix things? I'm not sure. Do I really want to? Is it worthwhile? All of this is up to me to find out. I told her I couldn't make a decision right now. I'll have to consider that. I'm thinking of asking some co-workers if I can stay on their couch for a few days, no family in town, advantages of being in the military. Get away from it all and think about it. Of course, I'd return for Christmas for the sake of my kid. I don't see the sense in employing the PI right now, since I honestly don't believe she'll accomplish anything for a long. Maybe I'm mistaken. Obviously, I've been there before. In the meanwhile, I'm taking lots of steps to ensure that I understand what she's doing, and if anything seems suspicious, I'm out. Of course, I'm not going to tell her anything. This is my last update for today. Please continue to provide your thoughts and recommendations, but I believe this is mostly a choice that will have to be made after careful deliberation. Update 5. Questions not answered. My feelings and the plan. I'm going to make a quick cue and a section for the most often requested questions. Q. How did she find out I was aware? A. There are two options. She had a strong hunch that I knew because when she woke up, her phone displayed a notice for a new screenshot, but when she opened it, there was no file. She was certain I knew once she discovered this post. She's seen it, and she's probably reading this right now. Hello, Mrs. will go through it in further detail later. Q. When I inquired whether she had with him, what did she say? A. She declined. I'm inclined to believe her sense in several of the messages, including some of the most recent ones. He expressed his excitement to finally see how hot her is. That's an actual quote from him from the texts, by the way. No, does this imply that I don't think she did? No. No, not at all. It makes no difference to me whether she did or not. She had planned on it and would have done it if I hadn't found out. We won't be intimate for a long time, and if we do, I'll surely get us both tested for STD. Q. How can I be sure she won't do it again? A. Obviously not. If we attempt to mend things, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to totally trust her again. She will have to demonstrate that she will be completely honest with me. The first test is as follows, to my wife. If you're reading this, text me right now and inform me. Stop reading and send me a text. If you read it and don't tell me, I'll know. It'll be over soon. Here's some information on the comments I've seen. I'd guess 80-90% of you are encouraging me to get a lawyer and leave her. Around 20% of that 80-90% is really building a case as to why I should rather simply say once a cheater, always a cheater, or something similar. The other 10-20% advise me to either give it a go or do what I want what makes me happy. The bulk of those posters make compelling reasons for why I should remain. Thank you to everyone who has left a remark. It means a lot to me that so many strangers on the internet have taken the time to attempt to assist or console me. Also, please do not downvote individuals just because you disagree with them. Everyone's viewpoint is important, even if it differs from yours. Stay tuned for the next part.